My name is Deanna Brockmeyer. I've been associated with the college since 1966. I, I first came here as a, a worker in the Dean of Students office where registration took place with Jess DeBaney. And uh, then I went into uh, data processing with Ed Hunter. And uh, after that I went, I transferred up to the ITE department where I worked for six teachers under, the, under Marvin Erickson and Ralph Orr. While I was working for teachers, they were all gone in the summer. So I went into all the different offices on campus and worked for their substitute for their people when they took vacation. And after that, I stayed with administration, first with uh, Marvin Erickson. When we moved into the new building, they had a, a student, a dean's corner, where there were four deans in the corner and three secretary desks, and we were a secretarial pool there. And that's where I got acquainted and worked for Lad Molino. And uh, he was involved in student, he was, I think, student, dean of students at that time. Anyway, when, when the old building burned down, and they moved us all into the old gymnasium upstairs. Then um, I became his assistant with students and they, I received a new title. They made me um, director of student activities under LAD. When we moved into this beautiful new building, um, I got to move with LAD and his office and his responsibilities and also with my husband Greg who is the food service director on campus and uh, we, we, he's, he was here at EA for 32 years and during that time while I was raising a family going to school and working I also was worked with him in catering uh, in the cafeteria and many of our children worked in the dish room mopping floors, peeling potatoes, whatever. And so it became, EA became our home. We all, we were all totally involved here. And all of my children attended here. And um, I decided that I wanted to graduate. I married young and wasn't, didn't have the opportunity to attend college. So I graduated at the age of 45. <laughs> So we've laughed about that. When my class has its 50th reunion, I may not make it. <laughs> I, I want to express my love for the students here. I just, in my job, I had the, the opportunity to associate with the cream of the crop and with every student because not only did I see them in student activities, but I saw them at the cafeteria every day. And I used to know every student's name that ate in the cafeteria. It, when the old building burned down, Ruby Stinson uh, asked me if I would assist her with her duties as uh, setting up an alumni uh, fund. She said, I'm not always going to be here and I want you prepared to take care of things when I leave. And so we started the alumni fund she and I were the first donators to that fund because that's how it started. And I've always believed that. I think we need to give back to what gave to us. And EAC has certainly fulfilled that for me and for my family.